hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. I am currently in Singapore and there is so much good food to eat here. And not too long ago, I went to Instagram to ask you guys for recommendations on you know, places I should go and things I should eat and I got a lot of them. And so in today's video, I'm gonna try and hit up as many of these places as possible. This video is gonna be filmed over several days because there's absolutely no way I can eat all of this just in one day. Okay, let's go. Okay, I have just arrived at Sumpha Bakute. This is actually a super popular spot, even though they have multiple chains in Singapore. The wait, even though I was just one person, was like 15 to 20 minutes. So they give you like a, a, a ticket and then you scan the QR code and you put your order in. I've ordered just the pork ribs with a rice. Although they do have like set menus with veggies and whatnot, I'm really here just for the bakute. I guess in, in like a really simple explanation, it's pork ribs simmered with spices and herbs for a long time. All right, everything has just arrived. It was super quick. It came in about five minutes of me sitting down. Let's try this bro. There is a, there's like a very obvious peppery taste to it. I don't know about you guys, but I can absolutely just eat this for breakfast. In my soup, there's three pieces of pork and there's a massive loaf of garlic. The great thing about being here is once your soup is nearly done, they like come with a little teapot kind of thing and they pour more soup into your bowl. I just got my broth refilled. It's like steaming parts. Even though this has been simmering in the broth for so long, it's still relatively tender and the meat has a very strong peppery, savoury taste to it as well. So the rice doesn't actually come with this. I ordered it separately and I would recommend that you do the same as well. Like with soups like this, that have so much flavour, you just need like some rice to help soak up some of that. I put some soup into the rice to, to soften it. I love it. And I have just arrived at Orchard Road. If I see an ice cream sandwich, I'm gonna buy it. Okay, I ended up getting a ice cream sandwich, literally, like ice cream in between bread. You choose your flavor and then they cut out a block and I've got the corn, the sweet corn flavor. Oh my goodness. They have bits of corn in this ice cream as well. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't hate it. And the bread, it's like a, it's like a sweet bread essentially. I think I'm skewing towards a yes for the corn ice cream. It's like a vanilla ice cream sort of vibe, but then you've got like corn inside it. Yeah, I think I like it. All right, the first thing that I've got here at Maxwell Food Center is chicken rice. Initially, I was going to head to Tian Tian Chicken Rice for my plates. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard of that before and I've actually been before as well but the line is always super long and I decided to check out some other stores that sell chicken rice here. There's a store called, I think, Maxwell Chicken Rice and there's also another store called Atai Chicken Rice as well. I read all about the chicken rice wars between Atai Chicken Rice and also Tian Tian Chicken Rice. Based on what I've read, the head chef at Tian Tian Chicken Rice that's been there for over 20 years started his own store. Two stores down, that place didn't have as long of blinds, so I decided to go check it out. This plate looks beautiful. It came to $5. There's a generous amount of rice. We've got two sauces. We've got the chicken broth. This is like my fourth or fifth plate since I've arrived in Singapore. I just didn't film all the other plates. Anyway, let's dig in. Oh my goodness, this chicken is so good. <laughs> it's tender, but it's still got that firm bite. It's got a good savory taste to it that's not overwhelming. Of all the chicken rice that I've had so far, this is pretty much up there. That chili sauce has a good kick to it. And I can also taste a bit of like a citrus flavor in it as well. It's not too spicy, which I appreciate so much. Okay, of course, with chicken rice, you also have to 
try the rice, which I haven't just yet. I personally like my rice like more chewier than normal. So like I typically when I cook it in the rice cooker, I add a little bit less water than recommended just so that it's like got a chewier bite. And this is how I like my rice done. And you can taste that like chicken stock flavor in this rice as well. I'm so happy. The spice from that chili sauce does linger on my lips. So I can feel it like burning a little bit. But my goodness, this chicken is so soft and so tender. You know how that there's always like some foods that you can eat all the time and you'd never get sick of it? Chicken rice is one of them. Like I can eat chicken rice all the time and never get sick of it. I had chicken rice for lunch today actually. And I'm having it again for early dinner. <laughs> Alright guys, so the next place that we're trying is a place called Agong Mince Pork Noodle. And I've got myself a dried bak chor mee. This is dry noodles with minced pork and it came to three dollars. In fact, the cheapest item on their menu is two dollars and fifty cents, which is very similar to what I have, except it has soup. Now, I do actually have soup. It's just on the side. All right, let's give this a go. This is like egg noodles tossed in a savory, slightly chili sauce. And we've got a lot of minced pork in here as well. And this is served in a cute little clay pot. And for me, I appreciate that, you know, you've got the kick of the chili, but it's not too much. It's also, I think it's super impressive that they're able to sell one of their items at $2.50. That's very, very affordable. All right, guys, instead of a coconut, I got myself a, what is it called again? Sugar cane. I was gonna call it lemongrass. I got a sugar cane. They like freshly pressed it. I got it without ice. So if you get it with ice, it's $2. And if you get it without ice, it's $2.50. Ooh, this is so refreshing. It's sweet and it's got like a grassy taste to it. <laughs> You also have the option to add like some lime juice or some plum juice as well. Um, but I just figured I'll just have it as is. If I had more people with me, I would absolutely order more food. But for now, I think this concludes a little visit to Maxwell Food Center. I might come back again just for the chicken rice. Guys, for lunch today, we are at Newton Food Centre. I've never been here before, so I'm very, very excited. I've gotten myself a bowl of prawns and pork rib noodle soup. It comes in like three different sizes. It's like $8.50, $10 and $12.50. I got the $8.50 one. So I've got two prawns. I think three things are pork ribs and the noodles. Also, there is like a self-serve chili soy sauce. This would taste super nice with the prawns. Ooh, this is steaming hot. It is at this specific moment that I realized I should have gotten dry noodles because it is humid today. Okay, let's try the soup. The broth has a combination of pork and prawn flavors. It comes with some veggies as well. And in terms of noodles, this is a chewy pumpkin noodle. Soy sauce has a kick of chili in it, and there's cartilage in this pork, which I personally really, really enjoy. I love the texture. Also, about these prawns, I really appreciate that it's already been peeled. Blanched prawns taste so good with soy sauce. Each of my pieces of pork has a lot of cartilage, which personally I love, but I completely understand if that's not your thing, and if that's the case, maybe just go for like the meatball noodles or the prawn noodle soup. I think it is about to rain. I can hear <laughs> the thunder. All right, I am super, super excited about this next item because this used to be something that I would eat at least once a week for lunch. All right, I've just arrived at Katung Laksa and I've ordered their small laksa. 
And then when I was collecting it at the counter, I was like, um, can I have a pair of chopsticks? And then he was like, no, you don't need it. You just need the spoon and that's it. With every bowl of laksa, you also get a packet of their sambal chili, which I will add to it just to try what it's like. I asked them, I was like, is it really, really spicy? And they were like, mm, there's a bit of a kick to it. Anyway, let's get the broth a go. Wow. This broth is packed full of flavor. I can taste prawns, I can taste coconut, and it packs a punch in terms of spices. So this is the first time I've had laksa with these type of noodles. This is like a thick rice noodle that's been chopped up so that you can literally just spoon it and you don't need chopsticks to eat it. In fact, using chopsticks might make it more difficult because it just like slip out of your reach. It's spicy, but like, it's not spicy for the sake of being spicy, you know what it I think I need a drink. <clears throat> Alright guys, I got a drink. Because the spice, it's um, packs a punch. Usually when I go laksa, I usually get a combination of two noodles. Your vermicelli noodles and then your yellow noodles. This, this thick round rice noodles, I don't have it often. But I actually really like it. Also the seafood that I'm having, the prawns and whatnot, it's very fresh. <clears throat> I just need to make sure I don't like breathe it in as I'm eating it. If that makes sense because then I start coughing. I'm the only one who's suffering here. Everyone is just like slurping it down like it's nothing. I wish I had a better spice tolerance because I love food like this. So I'm currently at Old Airport Food Center. I got so many recommendations to come check this place out. So here I am. I've gotten is a plate of tasu rice from Roast Paradise. They have a range of different types of roast meats and you can choose to either have it on rice or you can have it on rice noodles. So this, the one that I have is actually a small and it came to $4.50. The meat itself, it's very very tender. And then the skin on the exterior, the texture is very different. It's got a sweetness to it as well, and it's definitely a lot chewier. Not bad at all for $4.50. And this sauce that they've given you on the side, it's a great addition. And if I just had to describe it in like three words, sweet oyster sauce-like substance. All right, let's go find more food. I ended up getting a bok bang. It's similar to like a spring roll, except it's bigger. So on the exterior, we've got like a thin crepe pancake-like wrapper. And then on the inside, we've got some cooked vegetables and meats, some peanuts, some shredded carrots. There's the crunch of the peanuts, but there's also another crunch element to it that I'm not entirely sure what it is. There's some sweetness to it as well. Like they've added some sugar. This is great if you come here and you're not feeling like, you know, a full meal, but you're still peckish to get a snack or something like that. And the crepe wrapper itself, it's very thin, but it's still, I think it's down to the skill of the person who wrapped it. I can pick it up with my chopsticks and nothing falls out. Oh, and I also got a coconut because it's so hot. I've noticed the price of coconut changes depending on where you buy them. Some places sell it for 550, some places sell it for four. Uh, here it's 3.50. It is currently 7 o'clock here in Singapore and I'm heading to a place that I've been to before only during the daytime. I've never actually been there at night and I'm really excited because they have amazing skewers at night time and I think you might already be able to guess where I'm talking about. Wow. All right, I've got myself a plate of satays. I've got five chicken and five beef. This came to $8. The only thing I don't like about traveling alone is that I can't share food. And so I really wanted prawns, but they had like a minimum of, I think 20. And I can't finish 20 prawns. So unfortunately I don't have any prawns this time around. I was like, can I have like four chicken and four beef and also two prawns? They're like, nah. So. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good, thank you. How much is it? How much? 
four dollars. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. How much is that? Two dollars. Also, I appreciate the hustle. People are here selling um, wet tissues, which I forgot to bring. So that's smart. You know, sell umbrellas when it's raining. Sell ice cream when it's hot. Sell wet wipes when you're eating satay and your hands get all dirty. Anyway, what I was, what was I saying? Ah, I was talking about these chicken skewers. They look um, very charred. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a huge line for satay eight. When I was like just browsing, people from satay six were like, just order here. It's all satay. It's all the same. All right, let's see how this is. This exceeded my expectations in terms of taste. I thought it would taste super burnt. But it just tastes like a sweet caramelized char. Kind of like the charred bits of Chinese barbecue pork, like tar siu. Also, you know what I'm really craving right now? I really want a beer. But it wasn't easy to secure this table, so I can't let that go. Okay, so with my plate also comes with some cucumber and onions and also, I think, a satay sauce. This has a lot of crushed peanuts. Pairs really well with the satay. Whoa, this is super burnt. Can I say burnt? Like, it is burnt, right? There is a satay challenge where you eat 220 sticks in under 20 minutes. I feel like over 10 sticks a minute. You know what? I really enjoy like the atmosphere and the environment. And I feel like this is just some place that you have to come here and experience. There's like all these different satay stores, everyone just sitting out in the open air, enjoying their satays, drinking beer. It's great. So it's very, very crowded on the outside, like the satay streets, but inside it's also super popular. There are so many people lining up for each of the different stores. What is your favorite store here? Like, if I were to come back here again, what do you reckon I should try? Because there are so many, like the choice is extensive. All right, and that is pretty much it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what are some of your must visit spots or like must visit food spots when in Singapore so that I can check it out next time I'm back because I'm absolutely coming back again. And yeah, thank you so much again for watching till the end. Make sure you uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. Initially, I genuinely had the intentions of like trying this out, but I really, I just don't, I don't think I can handle it. Because I want to finish it because it's so good, you know, but I know if I add this, I wouldn't be able to finish it.